Hi Year 7, it's me, Miss Morris. I just thought I would record a video for our lesson today as I am in school working frontline and I can't do a live video call. So I'm going to do a little reminder about what we started last lesson and then I'm going to tell you about what I want you to do today. Okay, so we've got this new investigation that we've started called Sweets Party. And the idea is that you and some of your friends are sat around a table, a square table, and you start off, you have the bag of sweets. So the person in this corner starts with the bag of sweets. And they give one sweet to themselves, two to the person next to them, three to the person after that, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it stops here because then you get back to yourself. And you always hand the sweets out in a clockwise direction. Like this, around the table. And once we've done this and we've written out how many each person had, we then found the total number of sweets. And the total number of sweets is 36 for when you have eight people. And then I said, OK, so let's make the square table bigger. Um, because it's a square table, we've got to have the same number of seats on each side. So on this, this table, we've got two seats on each side. So let's make the next biggest one. So we've got three people on each side here. And so all together, we could count it. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we've got twelve people in total on this table here. And we're doing exactly the same thing. So that person here, oh, sorry, that person here starts off with the bag of sweets, and they pass it around the table in a clockwise direction. And we wrote down how many sweets each person got: four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we added it up. So we wrote the total sweets next to it. And we added it up and it came to 78. And some of you might have drawn even bigger tables again. And some of you haven't. And that's okay. So at the very end of last session, when we were talking about how to record our results. And we thought it would be good if we put it in a table. So what I want you to do today is to start with, make sure you have this table copied down. And we've got in the first column, people per side. And that is people per side of the table. So there are two people on this side. Two, two, two. So people per side. And we've got the total number of people at the table. And then the total number of suites. Okay, so you've got three columns there. And I want you to fill this table in, making your, ta making your square tables of sweets bigger and bigger, and putting your results in here. Okay, so I've just made mine a little bit longer. Make sure you use a ruler, make it nice and neat. So the next one we're going to look at is four people per side. If we go up in ones, it'll make, us make it a lot easier for us to spot any patterns. So four people per side. And then five people, and I'll leave it there for now. And if you do more, that's amazing. Um, so we'll leave that table on this page. And I will start to draw my next table. So my next table is going to have four people per side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is they're a little bit tricky to draw these tables. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But you do want to make sure that you do have those four kind of plates on each side, and I'm using squares to represent the, the plates where you'd put the sweets on. So I'm just drawing my little squares quite roughly, but making sure I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, and if you're doing it on squared paper and you're doing it like me, you should have this matching up here. Okay, then I'm going to just make it a little bit neater. I might just draw um, another box around that to show that it is a table. There we go. So we're sat around this square table now. 
with four people per side. So the first thing we need to do is work out how many people are at the table. So keep the writing consistent. So table of how many people are here. I'm going to leave a little gap here because I want you to pause in a second and work that out. And then after that, we're going to work out the total number of sweets. So we need to count how many people there are. Then we're going to fill in the numbers. Okay, so the person that's here is still going to start. You don't need to draw smiley faces around the whole table, but you, you can if you want. This person's going to start with the sweets, so they're going to give themselves one. The person next to them is going to get two and three, four, five. And I'm going to pause it here, and I'd like you to pause the video, and I'd like you to have a go on your own by filling in the rest of the table, and then writing how many people there are over here. So I'm just going to write pause the video now and have a go. Okay, hopefully you did pause that and have a go at filling in this table. So let's go through it and check that we've got the same thing. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So how many people are there? Well, there's 16 people. And then the total number of sweets, well, we need to do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 whew, plus 15 plus 16. And you need to now work that out. So we're adding all the numbers up between 1 and 16. You might find that you found a quicker way to do this. I remember somebody said in the chat at the end of last lesson, oh, I've got a quicker way to do this, and that's fantastic. If you find a quick way to add these numbers up, that would be really, really good. Um, so I'm going to leave you to add these numbers up. And once you've added those numbers up, we're going to go back over to this table... Uh, the total number of people, we know that, that's going to be 16. And you're going to add in the total number of sweets here. Okay, after you've done that, try and do the same with five people per side. If you finish that as well, maybe we could do the same with six people per side. And um, if you've gone up to six, I'd invite you there to have a little pause and have a look at what's happening to these numbers. How can we spot any patterns between... 36, 78, whatever's going to come next, and see if you can make any predictions about what we might have for sides with seven people on. So you could make a prediction before you did it for this one. Okay. So that's what you're going to do for the rest of this lesson. You're going to fill this table in. And then you're going to have a look and see if you can spot any patterns between these numbers and these numbers as well. And any patterns that you spot, you're going to write down. So, so you're going to fill in the table. Um, draw each new table of people. See if you can spot any patterns. Okay, I look forward to seeing what you've got and I will see you in the next lesson and we can talk about all the things that we found. Alright, bye, see you later.